It will be the first museum of its kind, the state-of-the-art facility in Washington, D.C., dedicated to the Bible. Everything from its history to its impact and relevance. We really have only one goal. Uh, it's to, for people to engage with the Bible. It's had impact on governments, on education, on family, crime and justice, science. It's had impact in the, the time that we tell. Carrie Summers is the chief operating officer of the Museum of the Bible. The building spans over 400,000 square feet and it will include a vast collection of more than 40,000 biblical texts, artifacts and relics. And people can expect a lot more than just a regular museum visit. It's a combination of uh, Disney, uh, theme park, uh, museum, uh, scholarly libraries from around the world, theater productions, biblical restaurants, really cool coffee shop, kids area to play in, and all of that's in this one big box. And you're gonna have three primary levels of exhibit space, each with a different focus. Uh, we'll have a 500 seat theater as part of that and a 500 seat gathering room or ballroom. There'll be a, a coffee shop, there's going to be a restaurant space, and a whole floor dedicated to research and teachings and scholarship of the Bible. The project is being funded by the Green family. Even though the museum will be in the U.S., just a few blocks from the U.S. Capitol, it will showcase the impact the Bible has had in different parts of the world. It's been burnt more than any book in history. It's been outlawed. It's been uh, crucified. It's tried to be destroyed. And it's still the best-selling book of all time. It's still the most influential book of all time. It still is the most banned book of all time. It's still the book that's burnt the most of any book. And it still is, is there. It's still having an impact. The team includes over 100 academics and five creative teams. Together, they're making sure the museum is historically accurate and interactive. Above everything else, they want it to be an experience and not just a visit. When God says, my word is alive and well, it's alive, it literally is alive. And as, as uh, the world tries to destroy more of the Bible, uh, it becomes even more powerful. The Museum of the Bible is currently under construction. It's scheduled to open in the fall of 2017.